one of the most important parts is finally here. Today we're going to be installing CSF Cooling's intake manifold. And So I know it's been a while since we've uploaded a video with Project M340i but we've been waiting on a couple of parts and one of the most important parts is finally here. Today we're going to be installing CSF Cooling's intake manifold and yeah, this is going to be a very interesting episode because this is a very integral part of the cooling system in order to push more power on the M340i. So let's start with removing the old intake manifold. We have managed to pull out the old uh, intake manifold that came stock on the 340 and as you can see it's made out of plastic but the thing that is most important is actually the thickness of the intake manifold itself. Uh, I'll show you the comparison in just a moment but yeah this is the older one and as you can see these six openings over here are directly uh, connected to the cylinder head uh, or the combustion chamber so yeah a very integral part of how the engine works. Uh, so let me just keep this and uh, we'll talk about the new CSF cooling uh, intake manifold. So what exactly does the upgraded intake manifold do? The full aluminum structure helps dissipate heat better than the stock part which was made from plastic. Since the volume of the intake manifold has also increased, it allows for more airflow. There are twice the amount of water cooling rows which help in cooling the charge air pressure even more. And if one day you decide to go balls out on your B58, the intake manifold has openings for port injection, water meth injection or even nitrous. Now we're installing the CSF cooling intake manifold onto the car and basically what this new manifold is going to do is it has fins inside which, in which coolant and air passes through and the larger the surface area, more the cooling. The stock plastic intake manifold uh, made by BMW is much thinner uh, in terms of thickness uh, compared to this uh, CSF cooling one. So, of course, this is going to give us more consistent performance, more cooling as well. So, yeah, a very important upgrade in terms of giving this car the boost that it needs. So, yeah, we're just fitting it on now and let's see how it turns out. So this uh, over here is basically like a gasket. This is a thermal insulation spacer for the CSF cooling intake manifold and basically what it does is it does not let the engine heat transfer into the intake manifold because like I said the whole point of the intake manifold is to keep the air going into the cylinder head as cool as possible and if we have heat protruding in from somewhere well that's not uh, a good sign for making power or keeping the performance of the engine consistent. So yeah, this thing is going to make a lot of difference in terms of making sure that the air going inside is not exchanged with the engine heat and believe it or not, this piece of whatever the f*** it is made of, plastic or whatever it is, costs 40,000 rupees. Yeah, I don't know who told you but 
making power with a BMW is definitely not cheap. So finally, the CSF cooling intake manifold has been fitted onto the 340i and yeah, once you open up the engine bay, it looks like a freaking race car now. Now, right now, of course, the engine cover is not on, so it looks even crazier, but yeah, that thing just looks so freaking cool. Now, of course, the main motive on uh, installing this intake manifold was to uh, help increase the cooling and enhance it. And of course, that is going to help a lot. So, Mechanics Automotive is planning to go stage 3 on this car. Now, when it will go stage 3 is still a bit of a question mark because we have to finalize on a tuner to tune this thing and also a turbocharger for it. We have a bunch of different options, so we have to choose something from the catalog. But apart from that, the plan is to max out the car on a stage 2 setup with a custom tuner. So, hopefully we'll be taking this thing onto a dyno and a couple of more modifications are going to come uh, onto the channel with the M340i. We're going to be ordering an intake. We're going to be ordering brake pads for it because, of course, with uh, all of this added power, we want to help increase the braking performance as well. And some small bits here and there always keep on coming, so we'll keep you updated on that as well. Till then, what do you think the M340i will be able to do in the quarter mile? Uh, we are aiming for the low 11, so hopefully this thing can turn some heads when it comes to that sort of metric. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more M340i build content. Uh, we'll be having a couple of more build series also happening uh, this year as well. Thank you so much. Help us at 100k. I'll catch you in the next one.